Hello. So in this video, we will talk about finite state automata for regular expression. So <clears throat> specifically, what we talk about is we will find that for each regular expression. So for each regular expression, we can find we can find <clears throat> a finite state automata. Okay. So that finite state automaton can be non-deterministic or deterministic, right? So we also know that that if we can generate a non-deterministic finite state automaton, we can also convert it into a deterministic form because we have already seen that any non-deterministic finite state automaton has an equivalent deterministic finite state automaton, okay? Okay, so let's start. So what is the definition of a regular expression? Regular expressions over a finite set I are defined as follows. We have the symbol null, null set, which is a regular expression. Now, can we find any finite state automaton for this guy? Yes, we can find. For example, if this is my starting state and <clears throat> this is my ending state. So for the null set symbol, what we want is we want any finite state automaton for which we cannot reach the start ending state at all. So we can call maybe this is SA and this is SF right and this guy cannot be reached note that this is what deterministic or non-deterministic <clears throat> it depends on what we write here right so if we write here 0 1 and there is no there's there's no transition coming out of this so this means this is a non-deterministic because for deterministic we know that for each input we have a transition from a state okay and also we are assuming that this guy is 0 1 here which is not necessary. We can assume any, any input set here. Okay. Now we talk about the empty string. So empty string is that you start and end up at the same state. Okay. So this is my empty string. Okay. Note that. So I start here and I also find it as an accepting state so that if an empty string comes, this is accepted okay okay now what about the symbol x when x is a member of i so then this is also simple we say this is sa and for the input x we get to a final state we call it sf or sv or whatever you want to call it so this is again <coughs> for the symbol x okay so we have done this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay. For the sake of these, we need to assume that A and B are regular expressions. So this means that we have a finite state automaton available for a regular expression A and for regular expression B. Okay. So for this, we are going to assume that A is represented by a machine A, which is what? Starting state of A set of states of A, final states of A, and input alphabet, which we've assumed to be universal for all the machines we, we use, and the transition mapping for A, right? And similarly, we have for B, the same thing. We have starting state of A, uh, sorry, B, then set of states for B, then final states of B, then the same input alphabet and a transition mapping of B. Okay. Now we are interested in finding a finite state automaton for a concatenation of A and B. Okay. So imagine that my This is my SA and there are some transitions. Let's say this is input A, uh, input A and this is the final state of A. Okay. Or this can be any number of states here. Okay. And then similarly, we have for B, SB and then 
any inputs here and then we have final states of media okay like this like this so what do we do we create a new starting state which we call it a b here and it goes this is a starting state and whatever input we whatever transitions take s a to whatever states we replace them from s a and then we make this f a so um, make them non-accepting or non-final and then we may bring this guy and this input will be what input this input will be will be so this is my input a so this will go to wherever sb was going with input a okay and this is for b okay so if we have a uh, input a taking sa to some states then input a will take sb to that state now if an input of a is taking sb to some states then input of a will take the final states of a to that state and then we will continue okay so this way we will make our finite state automaton for a concatenation the question is that uh, does sab belong to fab or not so now note that when is this final state this will be a final state if a empty string will take the machine of a b to itself correct so then this means that this belongs to a b or then we can say this belongs to a and lambda belongs to okay so this is the case if if this is the case then yes then we have s a b as a final state so in summary my concatenation is like this a new say new starting state now set of final set of states this is equal to all sets <coughs> uh, um uh, s a so s a union s b and then you have to take a difference of uh, s a union s b and then you have to also say union a new state s a so this is capital S, this is capital S, this is small s, this is small s, this is small s. In other words, what we are saying is that the sets of states for the concatenation is have all the states of A and all states of B, but the starting states of A and starting state of B. And we include an extra starting state, which is SAB. Okay. The input set is still I. The final state, so FAB this is equal to fb because we are doing ab right concatenation of ab so the b will be responsible to to finish the or accept a string and fb has all the transitions all transitions which we have explained in the diagram so explained okay so this is about the concatenation okay so this is m a b okay <clears throat> so now we talk about union so now we are interested in machine for a union b so okay. so again we have a machine for a now i'm going to do a better job of drawing so this is a 
this is some input a and this is my final state sp or a okay and then this is my b My start and this is my starting state. This is SB, and then this is. So I thought I will do a better job. And this is some input. This is some. Okay. Now for SB, what we want is, we again want a starting state, a new starting state. We call it S A union. Okay, now these inputs will be like this. So whatever A takes S A to, this will take S A union B to as well. And also the same as here. So this is input A and this is F1. Okay. And then we don't have to do anything else. So everything after that will be, will be a part of it. So we have actually a parallel combination of these two machines and then we'll say uh, M A union B this is equal to what is the starting uh, what is the starting state it's a new state S A union B what is the set of states this is all the sets all the states of A union all states of B but take away again the same thing and then again I forgot this is a new state we have so this union this the union this and take away this and then input alphabet does not change finite state is uh, so a union b so all states all final states of a union all finite states of b and then f as explained okay so what was the explanation that all the transitions from s a will be now from s un a union b and all the transitions from s b will again be from a union b and then nothing else changes okay now we talk about the clean closure of this okay so for the clean closure we can have uh, this is my sa for example and then this is some input a and then this is the final state of So for this one what do we do is we have a new state again which is S A star. So we have a new state S A star so we do the same thing. So whatever is going from S A will now go from S A star. Okay. Okay. and then so for example this goes to some state let's say uh, s a 1 okay. now if we just add one more transition or if we just add a set of transitions which were going from s a from and replace them going from the final states of a to the states which were immediately uh, you know accessed by SA then we will have our desired machine here with one small uh, extension left is this does this have to be the final state or not this has to be a final state why because we know that the empty string is always a part of any cleans closure okay so then this is the final state here so again we remove this state whatever transitions were going from SA we make it from SA star and we add more transitions from the final states of SA 
to the states which were immediately accessed by SA for the corresponding input. Okay. So again, what we do is we say M A star. This is equal to now S A star. This is uh, S A star. This is equal to S A union S A star. And then take away S A or the difference of that. Then input alphabet does not change. Now F A star is like explained. And then what is the final states? Final states of A star. This is final states of A union S A star. Do you agree? Now this one, this way, any combination of A, I mean any number of uh, concatenation of A will take our machine to the final states here. Okay. So this is, we have all the regular expressions now can be represented by a finite state automaton. So now the last statement says any finite combination of concatenation union and clean closure lead to a regular expression. So this is self-explanatory. So one, whenever we have a finite combination of concatenation, we can always repeat the procedure of concatenation to make a finite state uh, automaton for that. And same for union and clean closure. As long as it's a finite combination. Okay. If it is an infinite combination, we know that finite state automaton, we have to use discrete uh, hardware to do that. So infinite combination, we cannot handle. Okay. And also we will see, we, this is also true because uh, regular expressions are defined by this, this, uh, you know, this limitation of finite combination here. Okay. So in summary, what we have done is we have proved that for each regular expression, so we go back, we have proved that for each regular expression, we can actually construct a finite state automaton. Okay. So this is it about this part of uh, the relationship between finite state automaton and regular expressions. There's a converse statement for this, that for each finite state automaton, we can find a regular expression. And this will be a subject of some later discussion. So this is it about this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video.